Hi YouTubers and first off thank you for everyone who messaged me after my last video. Uh, I know it was a bit of a, a negative and a, and a down video. I did feel slightly deflated uh, but as you all pointed out it's not the end uh, and it certainly isn't. Uh, I will get the parts. In the meantime I have a, a workaround and I'll include the video here. Okay so the powered steering has got a leak. It's not the end of the world. Done some research, talked to a few people on the internet, and we all know the internet is full of experts, especially when it's related to things like COVID and vaccinations and stuff. I get all my information from the internet, yeah. Certainly mechanical information as well. So, even though the mechanic said that this wouldn't work, well, because, you know, maybe he wants to stiff me for a few hundred quid, but the internet... Highly recommended this. There's lots of YouTube channels. So, I've got nothing to lose. This gives me just a couple more months before I can find the parts, because it's finding the parts for this old lady that's going to be a struggle. Then, you know, it's not the end of the world. And hopefully, I can get out and about in Millie, see some of the country, and uh, it's not completely over. So, let's give it a go. So that was full after the other day and it, it doesn't it's not leaking all of it it's only kind of leaking to there which i wonder if it's the bottle that's leaking not necessarily from the from the pipes but anyway i'm gonna fill this up and you can see oh it's thick thick and glumpy i'm going to use this and fill up my reservoir and then start the engine up a bit and then run it through run it through a bit and then try again okay so the instructions say start the engine put full lock on one way and then put full lock on the other way. And then straighten it up. It actually seems okay. But uh, let it run for a bit. And then uh, see, uh, see what the level's like. Uh, so far so good uh, obviously after Christmas I'll take Millie out for a good drive uh, and see if the the bodge does work uh, at the present moment we're getting some cold nights so she's parked up and I'm just getting her ready for the winter so uh, all the water tanks have been emptied including the hot water uh, I've opened the fridge which is now working uh, yay so the fridge is now working on certainly on on mains uh, still won't light on gas uh, and I haven't really tested on on 12 volt but the thing you need to remember about your fridge in your motorhome it's not like your home fridge first off it doesn't make a noise so that's what I was looking for my expectation was every time I was turning the fridge on I was expecting to hear something and because I wasn't hearing anything I assumed it didn't work it also takes a long time to actually get cold even on mains so the best way to test is plug it into mains. I put an ice tray with water in the freezer department, closed the door up, left it on overnight, came back and the freezer had frozen the ice. I've got ice from Mini. The fridge is working. So it does work. Uh, it takes a long time to get cold, but obviously you're recommended to putting cold things in when you're on mains. Don't necessarily expect it to cool things if that makes sense so if you put something warm in there it's not going to help so certainly take things out of your home fridge or straight out of the shop put it into your fridge uh in your motor home when you get to your site plug it onto mains and it should keep your food fresh and cold more importantly let's not, let's face it i'm talking about beer so the only thing that's pretty much is going to go into that fridge is going to be beer so uh hopefully we'll get some adventures in the new year uh hopefully i can get the parts uh, big shout out to Nicole at uh, I think it's Hyman Group uh, for the 
best customer service ever. Uh, I actually emailed uh, the Ellis Customer Services uh, asking if they had any manuals or user advice or anything for my old motorhome. Bear in mind, Millie's 20 years old, over 20 years old, and the best customer service ever. They took the time to scan and send me uh, all the user guides of all the uh, motorhomes they sold around that period. Sadly, couldn't find the exact one for Millie, but at the same time, there's probably been so many modifications for Millie uh any user guide that produced 20 years ago probably wouldn't help me anyway but it did uh explain quite a few things like uh the roof limit is 16 stone so glad i didn't go on the roof uh and also the advice about the fridge so i worked out that my fridge does work so you helped me out loads nicole thanks a lot and i couldn't recommend the organization or the company better if that's the kind of customer service that they give someone who bought their product over 20 years ago matter of mind i didn't buy it from them i just own one of their products then i'm sure their customer service for any new products must be amazing so you know i will be checking them out uh and hopefully me and the company can do something in the future uh around some of their new new products i'm always after an angle as you know you know any freebies i'm easily bored anyway uh I haven't speak to you before, which I doubt it. Have a great Christmas, and I'll see you all in the in the new year. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.